What is up guys, this is Tone here, and today we have episode 2 of Typography Tuesdays. We have a little logo now, so I made that, so you'll see that in the little pop-up, hopefully. But today, my word is going to be Tizo. Um, so from Tizo Touchdown, he's a new artist who I like quite a bit, so I thought that'd be a fun word to work with. If you haven't already seen the video before, go watch the Mike Tyson video that I did last Tuesday. So yeah, let's just hop right into the sketching. All right, so we're back in software now. So this is the finished sketch. So I haven't 100% decided which one I want to go with, but I really like this crazy experimental one um, and kind of this one too. So I might play around with both of these. I think this one's the most solid um, as far as like actual design wise go. I think this could be a good mark, but I kind of want to push myself to do these wild ones. Because if it's your private work, you should push it to be extra cool. Plus, Tizo is one of those artists where I think he would actually use an interesting typography. Alright, so I'm going to start the speed up thing again. So, have fun. So, I kind of want to experiment with having the T be kind of insane. But then having the the E E be like really good circles, like mathematically good. And then the Z being crazy too. And then have the O maybe be like the E's where it's really circular. I think that can make a really unique design because there's a ton of all circular or all mathematical correct or all crazy logos. But it's fun to mix the two. And especially on a project like this where you can and you don't have a client telling you what to do. I think that's where you should do this. You should experiment with crazy stuff when it's your own project. Okay, I like how that looks. It looks pretty sick. Um, it looks really edgy, which is cool because that's not really what I was going for with the ease. I kind of wanted a more traditional look, but it looks really edgy like that, which I like. I want it to be semi-legible still. That's the only tough part with this. So once again, I want it, the goal is for it to be able to be used. <laughs> that looks so wild. I love it. This is crazy. So that is Tizo. I'm going to throw it up like I did last episode on a mock-up and we'll see how it looks. This is an example of how I could see it as a mock-up. If you look hard, you can still figure it out. So that's a good thing. I love how this turned out. I think it was really fun. I like how experimental it was. It's definitely the most unique typography I think I've done. I like how it mixed both mathematical, like correct circles and this crazy T and Z. So I really love, I love how this project turned out too. It's tough. I don't know which one I like more, the Tyson one or the Tizo one, but I think it's an amazing first two episodes of this series and I'm excited to make a bunch more. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying these because this has been so far my favorite series I've done because I just love typography. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Just, you already know, but I do have something I want to start plugging in every video. I'm working on a book called Time Self-Expression, coming out 2024. Watch for that.